Hi there, and welcome to the Clear Skin Essentials, and I'm your host, Natasha St. Michael, and thank you so much for joining me. So I'm super excited to do today's video on the dry oil cleansing method. And for me, this has been like a big, big, big change in my skincare routine, and I've been getting just phenomenal results, and I've been really excited to share it with you. And so pretty much this is something that's been kind of new to me. I've only been doing it for about two to three months now. But um, the results have been kind of groundbreaking for me, especially in the realm of sort of maintaining more the youthfulness of your skin, helping to sort of preserve your skin and, and sort of counter any kind of loss of elasticity or suppleness of the skin. This is a great cleansing technique for anyone that's dealing with dry skin or maturing skin, skin that's kind of dull, lackluster, um, losing elasticity and suppleness, um, dehydrated skin, and skin that's that's starting to show more and more lines and wrinkles. This is definitely like a big game changer <laughs> and great results from it. So pretty much there's a lot of information I want to share about the dry oil cleansing methods. So I'm, this is sort of part one of a two-part video series. And so in today's video, I'm gonna explain first of all, what is the dry oil cleansing method and how it's different from the regular oil cleansing method, okay? Because it's not the same. And I'm also gonna talk about uh, oils and washcloths that I recommend using for this specific cleansing method. Um, plus do a video demo showing you how to actually do the dry oil cleansing method both in the morning and also in, in the evening. Um, especially for those of you that wear makeup or products or sunscreen, um, how to do like a double cleanse with the dry oil cleansing method at night. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk more about who would really benefit from this, like what skin types is really compatible with the dry oil cleansing method and what skin types need to kind of avoid it, okay? Because it's not good for everyone. And I'm also gonna give some tips for those of you with acne prone skin that are dealing with acne prone skin, but also dry or maturing skin. And this is something that might be beneficial for you. Okay, so a lot I'm gonna go over today. Okay, so let's first talk about the dry oil cleansing method. And, and what is it? And how is it different from regular oil cleansing method? Because I'm sure a lot of you are sitting here right now going, is this the same as the regular oil cleansing method? And no, it's not. So dry oil cleansing is actually washing your face just with oil and a dry washcloth, okay? No water is washing your face. No water is touching your face. Um, the regular oil cleansing method, you use oil, but you use a wet or a damp washcloth to remove the oil. And so that's actually a very big detail, huge detail. And especially for those of you that perhaps have dry skin or maturing skin, that's why this cleansing method can be so beneficial because water can actually be quite drying and for some of you that have tried the oil cleansing method you might have noticed that it, it's it moisturizes a little bit or it actually doesn't moisturize your face and, and you feel like you need something more and perhaps this method could be something that's more beneficial for those of you that have dry skin or maturing skin and so the reason why i I started experimenting with this cleansing method was that a very strange thing happened to me a few months ago. And that is that my skin kind of changed overnight. As most of you know, I'm pregnant right now. I'm seven months pregnant. I'm also in my early 40s, I'm 41 years old. And in my the beginning of my pregnancy, my skin that is normally, normally like chronically oily <laughs> and acne prone, and at this point in my life also maturing, sort of went overnight, it went dry. And my skin wasn't dry in the way of like having red or flaky skin. It was dry more in the way of like being dehydrated, losing its elasticity and suppleness. Okay, so a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on my face just became a lot more apparent. And when I would smile, remove my face, lines that usually kind of appear but then once i stop smiling and disappear were not disappearing <laughs> so i was walking around with like a lot of deep lines all over my face and people started 
remarking on that. Okay, I mean, at first I thought it was my imagination, but then when people started saying things to me, then I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and then one day my husband actually asked me, he was like, what's going on with all these lines and wrinkles on your skin? And that's when I was like, okay, I gotta do something about this. And an interesting thing happened was that a few days after he had said something, I was, I was reading an article online and somehow I ended up on Josh Rosebrook, his website, on his blog, and on an article about dry oil cleansing. And he was talking about washing your face with oil and a dry washcloth and how beneficial it is for your skin. And it was like a light went on and I'm like, this is what I need. This is what's gonna help me sort of regain more elasticity and suppleness back in my skin. This is what's gonna help to kind of bring, bring back more hydration and, and, and just get rid of this dryness, <laughs> get rid of the lines and wrinkles, or at least just smooth them out a little bit. And so I immediately wanted to try this cleansing method. Um, and I also have to mention too, is that I've never been a fan of water. Okay, for I would say over six years now, I do not wash my face ever in the shower. I don't even get my face wet in the shower. When I take a shower, I just wash my hair and my body. I don't, the less water on my face, it's always been more beneficial for me. Okay, it helps to really, I find that my skin is more even, skin tone, I don't get red or irritated skin, nothing. If, I'm, if my face has contact with too much water, my skin is, it doesn't, respond very well to water. So I wasn't freaked out when I read his article about not using water and it was like the reverse. I was like, this is good. <laughs> this might actually help me. And so I decided at first I was just going to experiment and, and just try it once. But the results I got were like in just one cleanse was, was really like quite apparent, you know, like there was a big difference in just my skin look, appearing more hydrated more soft, more, you know, less dry, and even the wrinkles just seem to be a little bit more smoother, you know? So from the first time of doing the cleanse, I was like, this is something I want to do a longer experiment with. And so I decided to do 30 days, okay? And I, from day one, I was like, I'm just gonna do 30 days, I'm gonna commit to it, I'm not gonna let a drop of water touch my face. And I'm gonna just do this dry oil cleansing method, morning and night, see what happens and it was amazing the results I was getting like day by day it's like just a noticeable difference and if anyone wants to sort of like the key to something that's more natural with anti-aging and just kind of you know keeping your skin really healthy as your skin is maturing this is definitely an amazing an amazing method and so that's why I did that experiment I've been doing it now for a few months. Um, there's a few things I have changed and I'm gonna talk later on about that. But I wanna show you how to do it, okay? So let's just jump in into the video demo and I'll show you how to do it, plus also just give you recommendations for washcloths to use and oils, things like that. All right, so let's get started. So for the dry oil cleansing method, you only actually need two things. You need an oil and you need a super soft, cotton flannel or washcloth, okay? Um, with the oil, my recommendation is, is to use an oil that you already know is compatible with your skin, okay? So something that works, that you've maybe used for regular oil cleansing or something you've used on your skin before that you know doesn't give you breakouts, doesn't cause any kind of reaction, nothing. If this is the first time you've ever used oils on your skin, my recommendation is to use a non-comedogenic oil like jojoba oil or grapeseed oil, safeflower oil. You can use an almond oil, olive oil, any kind of pure plant-based oil. Um, the only oil I don't recommend is coconut oil, unless you've been using coconut oil all along and you have no problems with it. But if it's the first time you're actually using an oil on your skin, Coconut oil a lot of times gives people breakouts. So I don't want you to get like breakouts from this. <laughs> so better to use like a jojoba oil or an argan oil or a, like a safe flower or grapeseed oil over using coconut oil, okay? And also don't use baby oil. Don't use anything that has mineral oil and I don't recommend soybean oil either, okay? So you can use a pure oil or you can use an oil blend. 
and you can make your own oil blend and all an oil blend is is a mixture of a few different oils or you can buy an oil blend personally i like buying different oil blends I find it fun um, the ones that i have been using over the past few months for the dry oil cleansing method has been living libations their best skin ever i've been using their rose one which i really really like and also i've been using tata harper's their nourishing oil cleanser and i highly recommend both these products they're great and the main thing is is that if you're going to use a commercial oil blend product my recommendation is to read the ingredients okay make sure that there's no soaps in it make sure that there's there's no weird ingredient in it it really should just be pure oils okay and it might have a little essential oil in it or an infused oil that's fine but make sure that there's no soaps in it there's no sodium lauryl sulfate in it there's pretty much no no ingredient that needs to be washed off your face okay because unlike the regular oil cleansing method that uses water to to rinse off the oil off your skin is that with the dry oil cleansing method you're you're just patting that oil off your skin so you don't want to use a product that foams or lathers because that product is formulated to be rinsed off with water okay so you need to just use something that's made out of pure oils okay very very important um, now when it comes down to using a washcloth my recommendation I've tried so many different types of washcloth and for dry oil cleansing, I actually recommend using a cotton flannel, okay, which is like a cotton wipe. As you can see, this is really, really thin. It's like a thin, soft, smooth fabric, okay? And this is actually a baby wipe. <laughs> um, the two companies or products that I recommend for finding for a cotton flannel would either be Bummies cotton wipes or Bumpkins flannel wipes okay reusable flannel wipes and pretty much it's just fabric it's the cotton fabric that's super soft and it's absorbent when it's dry so i don't recommend using regular washcloths or terry cloths or any kind of towel cloth okay for dry oil cleansing for regular oil cleansing yes okay but not for dry and the reason why is that when it's dry because you're not putting this under water when it's dry it's it could be too rough and it could hurt your skin and some of them are not very absorbent when they're dry okay so you pretty much want to use a cloth that as you're patting your face with it it's lifting off the oil it's lifting off makeup dirt debris dead skin cells all of that and this i find is the perfect cloth for that because you'll see as you're patting your skin and patting off that oil you'll see it lift off onto the cloth and that's how you know okay it's good it's working it's it's cleaning my skin okay so let's now jump in and get started so we're going to start off with the morning cleanse okay and this is what you would do every morning pretty much you're going to have your faces dry and you're going to put just i would say like a dime size amount of oil on your hand you're gonna just put it on your face, apply it to your face, and you're always applying it with strokes going from the center of your face outward, okay? So you're gonna apply it and massage it into your skin and also your neck. And you're gonna do this for like a minute, a minute or two or longer if you like. If you like to give yourself like a nice massage first thing in the morning, please do so. <laughs> And so you're, you're gently massaging your skin with the oil, applying it everywhere, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clean cloth. And what I like to do is I like to wrap the cloth around my hand like this, okay? And it's smooth, it's soft, and I'm gonna gently pat my skin. And again, I start from the center of my face outward, okay? And I'm going to do the entire surface of my face. As you see, I'm just gently patting or pressing that fabric into my skin. I'm not pulling my skin or like tugging it or, or anything. I'm being really, really gentle. But what's happening is, is that the fabric, as I'm patting it on my skin, is it's lifting off that oil. 
okay, and it's lifting off any kind of dirt or dead skin cells or sebum or whatever is on building up on the surface of my skin. And so you're going to do the surface of your face and then also down your neck, okay, as well. And you can do your chest too, whatever you like. Okay, so that's what you're going to do first thing in the morning. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but you actually see that the cloth is a little dirty. <laughs> okay, that's a good sign. It's pretty much lifting off any kind of dirt or dust or anything that's on my skin, as well as the oil. And as you can see up close, is that my skin doesn't look oily. That's the beauty of this, is that as you're gently patting the oil off, it, it removes a lot of excess oil that you're not walking around with like oily, like greasy skin, not at all. And in fact, it leaves you with your skin being nice and moisturized and giving it kind of a very dewy, fresh look. Definitely not oily, I promise, okay? You'll be quite surprised. This is one thing I noticed immediately and I was like, this is good. <laughs> My skin doesn't look oily and it's, and it really actually helps to absorb that oil into your skin as you're pressing the cloth into your skin. Okay, so that's it. You're done, pretty much. And I will show you one thing that I do is that just to make sure that there's certain parts of the face that I find can sort of build up with dead skin cells or build up with, with dirt or product. And that's usually around the hairline and also around the nose. So what I do is I wrap my finger, uh, the cloth around my finger, and then I just very gently just clean around the nose because that's kind of where I get like blackheads or build up of uh, dead skin cells. Um, and then I also do my hairline because I find between your hairline and, and your face and even behind your ears a little bit is where a lot of times oil and dirt build up. And so I just, just gently do around those areas, the areas where I find I can have a lot of buildup or clogged pores, things like that, then I'll just gently do that. And then that's it. Then you would go on to, if you need, use your skincare products, um, apply your makeup, get on with your day. Very, very simple. I mean, it takes like two minutes to do this and that's it. So this is the morning routine. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the evening routine. So for the evening routine, there's two methods you can use. Okay, so for those of you that during the day, you don't wear any sunscreen, you don't wear any makeup, nothing. And you don't live in a polluted or dusty environment. My recommendation is to do exactly what I showed you to do for your morning cleanse, okay? Just applying the oil and, and patting it off. Now, for those of you that do wear sunscreen, that do wear any kind of makeup, foundation, b, b cream, tinted moisturizer, wear eye makeup, uh, lipstick, any of that. And, or you live in an environment where there's a lot of dust in the air. For me, I live in Bali. At the end of the day, my skin is so dirty. <laughs> I recommend doing a double cleanse. Okay, and the double cleanse I'm gonna show you how to do, but pretty much it's, it's washing your face twice so that the first cleanse removes the makeup, the second cleanse actually gets in there and removes like any kind of buildup of sebum and dead skin cells. So you're really thoroughly washing your face. Um, my recommendation though, and I'm gonna show you how to do the double cleanse now, is if you wear heavily pigmented makeup, like mascara, smoky eyeshadow, dark eyeliner, red lipstick, anything that's really, really pigmented, my recommendation is to take that off first before doing the double cleansing. Now, if you wear foundation or sunscreen, don't worry about removing that. It's just really like the dark makeup that you don't want like all over your face. <laughs> so just remove the mascara, eyeliner, red lipstick, remove that first, okay, with, with an oil or with a makeup remover. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your oil and again, you're gonna put um, a dime size amount of oil on your skin, on your dry skin, and your skin has foundation or makeup on it or sunscreen, and you're gonna apply the oil onto your skin, massage it in for a good minute or two, also your neck. And you're gonna do the same thing you did in the morning of you're always stroking your, your skin from the center of your face outwards with the oil, massaging it into everywhere, covering the whole surface of your face and also your neck. 
chain, you're gonna massage it in very gently, but very nicely and very thoroughly. And then you're gonna take your clean cotton flannel cloth, okay? And this has to be clean. Don't ever use the cloth you used in the morning. Every time you cleanse your face, you take your cloth and you put it in the laundry, okay? So it's always good to have like a stock of like six or 12 or 24 of these cloths so that you always have a clean one on hand. Never, ever, ever reuse your washcloth, okay? Always use them, throw them in the laundry, and then use the clean one at the next cleanse, okay? So you're gonna take your clean cloth, and again, I like to wrap my fingers around it, but this time, because you're removing makeup, which is harder to remove than just dust or dirt or oil off your skin, makeup and sunscreen is formulated to really kind of stick to your skin, especially foundation and stuff. So you're actually gonna be sweeping your skin very, very gently from the center of your face outward to remove any kind of foundation, any kind of makeup. Okay, so always from the center of your face outward, you're gently sweeping it across your face, okay? And I always use one side of the cloth and I move my, move my hand around a little bit so I can use the entire surface of that one side of the cloth to remove the makeup, okay? And as you see, I'm not tugging at my face, I'm not being like super harsh, nothing. It's like really like giant, really like gentle strokes across your face. Okay, and that's gonna lift up all the makeup. As you can see, you might see it, I don't know if you can see it, but my cloth is dirty. <laughs> okay, and that's because it's removing like makeup and like dirt and, and all sorts of stuff, okay? So you're sweeping it, not patting it to remove sunscreen, foundation, and makeup. Okay, and you're also gonna then gently go down your neck as well. And if you've got product on your chest, you'll, you'll do the chest as well, okay? so. That's the first cleanse, okay? And what you can also do, what I like to do is wrap it around my finger and then I'm gonna always just go over my hairline and back of my ears and along my nose, okay? The crevice around my nose. Anywhere that kind of gets built up of like sweat and product, I like to just kind of go over. Then you're gonna do a second cleanse, okay? Because this first cleanse just removed everything on the surface, the makeup, the products, dirt, okay? And then you're gonna take another dime-sized amount of oil and you're gonna warm it up in your hands and you're gonna, again, apply it to your face, give yourself a nice, gentle, therapeutic massage. And you're gonna do this for another minute or so, however long you want. The longer you massage your skin, by the way, the better. <laughs> so I'm doing this quickly because, you know, I don't wanna take up too much of your time. And my recommendation is, is that you can either get a freshly clean new washcloth or you can flip it over and use the clean side for your second cleanse, okay? So this side was for my first cleanse when I was stroking um, all of the product off. And then here is the clean side that I'm gonna use for the second cleanse, okay? And then I'm gonna wrap that again around my fingers like this. And this time I'm gonna pat my skin. Okay, and the reason why I don't recommend always wiping and only, only just wiping your skin when you are removing makeup is because the padding really helps to actually kind of press the oil into your skin. It removes any kind of excess oil and it helps to really just get that oil to like sort of penetrate your skin so that your skin is a lot more moisturized. So. I prefer the padding motion over the swiping, okay? The swiping is really just to help get rid of any kind of makeup and product that is on your skin. But the padding is about sort of pushing or pressing the oil into your skin, okay? And as you can see again, my, my skin doesn't look oily, does it? No. It's, it's got a, a nice moisturized sort of dew look to it, but not, it's in no way like greasy or anything. Really? a lot of the product comes off on the cloth, okay? And that's what you want. Okay. And then I follow it again by wrapping my finger in the cloth, going around my nose, and also around my hairline behind my ear, okay? That's just to 
get rid of any kind of buildup, and that's it. And then you can move on to using any any skincare product you normally use in the evening. Again, this is what you would do before you go to bed or as soon as you get home from work. You know, the earlier you wash your face, always the better. So that's the dry oil cleansing method. Very, very simple. And just to let you know too that on today's blog post at theclearskinessentials.com slash blog, um, I've written out all the instructions for both the morning cleanse and the evening double cleanse, how to do that. Plus I've listed out links to recommended face cloths and recommended oils, all of that. So I'll put the link to today's blog post below so you can check that out. Now, you might be watching this wondering, okay, is this something I can do? So my recommendation is that this cleansing method is especially great for anyone that has dry or maturing skin, okay? Anyone that their skin is, is dehydrated, it's dull, it's lackluster, it's losing elasticity, and you're getting a lot of lines and wrinkles on your skin, and you kind of want to slow down uh, the aging process of your skin. You know, you want to keep it healthy and, and moisturized and soft and supple and hydrated, right? This is great for anyone in this situation, okay? And for most skin types. I would say if you've got normal skin, dry skin especially, um, and even combination or oily skin, this can actually help to balance out oil production. The only skin type that you have to be really careful with is acne prone, okay? If your skin, and I'm gonna talk more about this next week and go more in depth with it because I have acne prone skin. And what I've noticed is that this cleansing technique has been great at keeping my skin clear. My skin is, I would say, smoother and and clearer than it, it's been ever, okay? It's, it's really helped to keep my skin clear and, and keeping my pores clean and, and unclogged and all of that, okay? It's really helped to eliminate a lot of congestion in my skin. Um, but <laughs> I've noticed that when I do have a pimple, it takes forever to heal, okay? And the reason why is because there's just so much oil being applied to the skin that it kind of, there's not enough oxygen getting in there to help heal your skin. And so normally, like when I get a pimple, it takes like two to four days for it to shrink up and disappear. And when I was doing the dry oil cleansing method, especially during my 30 day experiment, was that I would notice that a pimple would sit on my face for like two weeks and it wouldn't shrink, it wouldn't move, it would just sit there <laughs> and it wouldn't get better. And it's really because it's just a lot of oil being applied to the skin that, that is too much of a barrier. You know, it, it's kind of like when your, your skin needs to heal, let's say from like a rash or a wound, is that you're always keeping your skin clean, dry, and, and letting oxygen get to it. And so the problem with the dry oil cleansing method is, is that there's so much oil being applied to the skin that it becomes a barrier to that oxygen and therefore it kind of slows down the healing of any kind of active pimples or active breakouts. So my recommendation, and I'll talk more about this next week, um, is that if you have acne prone skin, when your skin is clear, you can definitely do this. But the moment that you get a pimple, my recommendation is to go back to the regular oil cleansing method using water, and I'll put a link to the regular oil cleansing method for acne prone skin. Do that when, when you've got pimples, or use honey to wash your face, or use a non-foaming gentle cleanser to wash your skin. Go back to using water, because that'll just help to speed up the healing of pimples, okay? And then once your skin is clear, then you can go back to the dry oil cleansing method. But I'll talk more in depth about this, and, and also too, what, what products or other cleansing methods like exfoliation, how does that fit into this kind of routine, and, and how I've adjusted the dry oil cleansing um, method routine to to make it really support me having acne prone skin and at the same time support sort of keeping fine lines and wrinkles and 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 aging at bay you know how to kind of find a good middle way with this so I'll be talking more about that next week and if you have any questions just send them to me at info at the clear skin essentials.com or just post them in the comments below and I'll go over the questions in next week's blog post and video all right, so I'm wishing everyone a fabulous day. Go and check out today's blog post for more information on the dry oil cleansing method. Try it out and let me know how it goes because it is fabulous. All right, thank you so much. Bye.